So uh, here we want to find the uh, minimum and maximum of the function uh, f of xy equals xy on the ellipse uh, x squared plus 3y squared is equal to 6. So what is it that we need to know here? Here we need to know theoretically that uh, when we have to find uh, the critical points, in fact, of a function f of x, y um, under the constraint uh, g of x, y is equal to 0, then we really need to solve the system. This is called the method of Lagrange multipliers. We need to solve the system, uh, the gradient of f being lambda times the gradient of g, and g is equal to zero. The first equation is an equation between two vectors, so it's going to break down to two equations. So what we really wrote here is an equation, a system of three equations with three unknowns. So let's solve it. Um, first of all, we have to define uh, the function g of x, y that gives us the constraint. So we can bring everything to the left hand side. So we can write x squared plus 3y squared minus 6. So we define this function. And then uh, we consider our system. So our system is going to be the gradient of f is lambda times the gradient of g. And g is equal to 0. Uh, what does that give us? Uh, what is the gradient of f? So it's going to be um, y x is equal to lambda times uh, 2x comma 6y. And g being equal to 0 is simply the constraint, meaning x squared plus 3y squared is equal to 6. OK, let's rewrite. This is the ones, y is equal to 2 lambda x. And x is equal to 6 lambda y. And x squared plus 3y squared equals 6. So how do we solve this? Uh, the simplest way to solve this is to note that uh, none of the x, y, and lambda can be equal to zero. So uh, x, because if x was zero, if x was zero, then from the second equation, you would get, I'm sorry, from the first equation, you would get that y is zero. And that's impossible because of the constraint. We cannot have zero square plus three zero square adding up to six. That, that's not possible. Same thing if y was equal to zero, then x would be zero from the second equation. And that's impossible because of the constraint. Also, if lambda were equal to zero, then you would have from both equations that x would be zero and y would be zero. And again, that's impossible because of the constraint equation. So the bottom line is what? That x is different from 0, y is different from 0, and lambda is different from 0. And why is this helpful? Because we can divide these two equations uh, by parts. So when we do so, we're going to find y over x is equal to uh, the lambdas cancel each other. And we will have uh, x over 3y. 
uh, and what we cross multiply, we will get three y squared is equal to x squared. Now, what we do is we plug this into our constraint. So we replace three y squared by uh, x squared, and we get uh, x squared plus x squared is equal to six, which means that x squared is three, which means that x is equal to plus or minus uh, square root of three. Okay, so uh, uh, what does that mean now? It means that if x is square root of three, then again, we go to our constraint and we get three plus three y squared is equal to six, which gives us that um, y squared is equal to one, which means that y is equal to plus or minus one. This yields two points, square root of three comma one and square root of three comma negative one. On the other hand, if X is equal to negative square root of three, we have exactly the same situation. So three plus three Y squared is equal to six. Bring three over to the other side. So you will get three Y squared is equal to three, which means that Y squared is equal to one, which means that Y is equal to plus or minus one. This yields two more points negative square root of three comma one, negative square root of three comma negative one. So these are the critical points of this function on this uh, domain. So all we need to do is see which one gives us the largest value, which one gives us the smallest value because the extrema have to be among those points. Uh, so I should write x, y and f of x, y. So at square root of three comma one, if we plug it in our function, we will find square root of three. For uh, square root of three comma negative one, we will find negative square root of three. For negative square root of three comma one, we will find negative square root of three. And for negative square root of three comma negative one, we will find square root of three. So this is a maximum. This is a maximum, both of them. So the function has two points of maximum, and it has also two points of minimum, and that's it.